I'm back. Free. Free. Download. Download. Friday. Crab Tendo. What is going on, everybody? DJ Av here. Back at it again. And today is free download Friday, your favorite day and my favorite day. And we're doing something a little different. As you can see, I have my MacBook Air M1 hooked up. So that means that I will have a VST plugin that will work for both Windows and Mac. And it is called Odin 2. I haven't done a video on this, obviously. So I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Different because he did a video on it. And I felt inspired enough to do one myself. So you got to give credit when credit is due, right? So let's check it out. I'm gonna show you how to install the VST plugin on a MacBook or Mac OS, which I already have videos for Windows, guys. So calm down and just type in my YouTube search and you'll find it, or I could just leave it in the description box. So let me know how you feel about it and let's begin. For those who are new here, the link will be in the description box. So this is the website that you will see when you click on that link and it is Odin 2 in the flesh so yeah it looks pretty nice right here and you want to download the proper version so if you have windows of course you will download this one and if you have mac os you will download that one so all i'm going to do here is just click on download and then allow boom and it's it's going to download the plugin itself or the installer and we'll be good to go so the next thing you'll do is just navigate to the bottom right of your screen or wherever your download a folder is and then click on the installer the installer will pop up it will ask for verification of course so on macbook you might have to depending on how you have your security and privacy set up uh, you will have to hit the open anyways from your setting options and it says it cannot verify but i'm just going to go ahead and open it anyways and then if it doesn't work like it's supposed to i'll sue but anyways just hit continue and then i'm going to install the audio unit so i can use it in logic later and and now it is finished installing and we can have some fun and just pick out your DAW of choice. But one thing you need to keep in mind is if you use Ableton Live like I do and you haven't messed with any of your scripts, well, guess what? When you load up Ableton Live, it will install that plugin uh, during the splash screen. It will, it, it will initialize and then it'll be right here. So let's go ahead and type in Odin and we see VST3. Odin. Boom. There it is. And if you're a Logic Pro head, well, guess what? Uh, all you have to do is start Logic Pro. Logic will load up. The splash screen will load up and it will find the audio units that are new and installed and it will go through everything. It's loading all the plugins and boom. If I want to check out a plugin in Logic Pro, I'll just use a two finger gesture on my macbook and that will be right clicking it says new software instrument track boom and then i'll pull up a plugin so it'll be on the list here under audio unit instruments odin 2 boom and odin loads <laughs> so the other 80 percent of so-called producers will probably use fl studio 20 and <laughs> hey guys you know i had to do it sometimes so just open up your fl studio go into your options manage plugins and then select find more plugins and it will go through the process of scanning every one of your available plugin folders and yeah it'll be back momentarily because it takes forever bruh it's still going after waiting 20 years, all you have to do is go over here and select Odin 2. And now it will be a plugin that you can pull up. But of course, we're gonna use Ableton because that's what I use. So I'm gonna turn on my push two here and type in Odin and get it started. Let's go ahead and get things popping here. So here is Odin 2 and we're gonna see if there's any presets or anything like that. So the first category we're gonna explore is the ARP. So let's hear those. Not bad.
but let's go ahead and try cook up something real quick. simple i mean you have your waveforms right here you have two oscillators no three oscillators whoopsies and you have your different controls like your octave control that controls the octave here so if i was to do a sound here let me go ahead and that was okay sounds okay but you can change the drift too so you can have more of an analog vibe to it so that's pretty cool um, but everything is pretty much the same in every one of the oscillators except for uh, two and three where you can sync the oscillators And whoa, that sounds crazy and you have your amplitude Or amplifier rather and that's for distortion Send it to filters you have three filters it looks like low pass 24 you can turn them on, low pass, and yeah, you got low pass, band pass, high pass, uh, SEM 12, and dioid, and some pretty good choices, I mean, to be honest, for a free synth. Uh, amplitude envelope over here, so you know, pretty much every module that you will want. Uh, and then you have glide and master, which you, know, you can turn down the master sound here. Turn all, all the sounds down all at once here. And so forth so yeah and you also have some effects over here on this side uh, where you have chorus phaser and delay so you can turn it on and off let's see if you actually have more effects it looks like you don't have more effects like you don't have a straight up reverb oh you can arrange them that's actually awesome some pay plugins you can't do that so <laughs> oh yikes but yeah that's pretty good mod matrix is there the arpeggiator Looks a little convoluted. But yeah. Don't know what this is. But I, I think that might have to do with your uh, modulation matrix. Like if you was to route something towards it. And yeah, you could do that. Very simple stuff to understand. Right, guys? Yeah. So! Tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section. I know it's a little different. You see, I got a different camera. Actually, I'm shooting this on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it's tethered to my computer, of course. And this is kind of the new setup. I'm getting used to it and whatnot, so that has nothing to do with Odin 2. But if I was to weigh in on Odin 2, I think it's pretty decent. Yeah, there are some pretty good VST plugins that I want to talk about in the group and have a VST plugins video that is not like everybody else's where they give you the shittiest ones. And you know, you know the vibes. Let me know how you feel in the comments. We out, y'all.